reason kids start drugs? Is it to seem cool or for some other reason? Do you prefer this year's or last year's and why? Mm. Today, we'll be asking teachers on what to Hello, Amazing Ospreys! Welcome back to another episode of the KMS Show. Did you enjoy your three-day weekend? Because we did. Today is Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. We were off yesterday because we celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Day, one of the most important holidays in our nation. In 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech during the peaceful march on Washington, D.C. And the next year, he became the youngest man at age 30, 35 to receive a Nobel Peace Prize. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is the United States most civil rights, or famous civil rights activist. He fought for civil rights and against poverty until an assassin's bullet ended his life on April 4th in 1968. For that and so much more, we are so glad to keep celebrating his life and honoring his legacy. Thanks, Dr. King. And now it's time for our weekly weather report. So let's go with Miranda Lewis, who's going to tell us how we have to dress during this week. Hi, Avery and Taylor. What I would recommend for this week is to have good jackets and coats on because it's gonna cool down. Last week was from warm to hot, and this one would be from cold to colder. Sorry guys, but this is Florida. Today, Tuesday 21st, the temperature is going from 35 to 53. It's sunny and there's no chance of rain. Tomorrow is Wednesday and the sky will look partly cloudy with the thermometer going from 47 to 58 and only 10% chance of rain. On Thursday, the temperature will go from 55 to 66 degrees on a partly cloudy day and 20% chance of showers around Jack's. We'll arrive to the end of the week with another cold day. Our Friday will be a rainy day with the temperature going from 51 to 72 degrees. This is how winter looks like in North Florida. Nothing to be worried about, guys. Just get your jackets ready and enjoy your week. Back to you, Avery and Taylor. Please enjoy the weather this week. Same to you, Miranda. Thanks for that report. This is our third week of the third quarter. I can't believe how time flies. You are right. And that's why we will tell you today about something that looks far away, but will actually be with us in the blink of an eye. We are talking about the eighth grade week. There, there's great news about that, so stay tuned. We will give you some information today during our KMS show. But first, it's time for our new segment, Teacher of the Week, a video that is getting very popular around the school. That's true. I heard that we have students asking us to have some specific teachers as our Teacher of the Week. We will consider your suggestions and try to please everybody so let us let us know about your favorite teachers and we will look for them here it is our teacher of the week hi guys i'm here with our teacher of the week mrs ryer so today we're going to be asking you some questions about like your teaching and how you got started so how did you get started teaching um well i graduated from college about four years ago and i was an english major and thought that i would love to teach because I love uh, kids. What is your favorite part about teaching? My favorite part about teaching is seeing the growth from August to May of my students just growing up um, mentally in my class learning a lot of stuff. What's your least favorite part about teaching? My least favorite part about teaching is there's a lot of work you have to do. I have a hundred and 60 students so I have to grade a lot of papers and there's a lot of data stuff um, so there's just a lot more than you think that goes to it. What is your favorite thing to do outside of teaching? Um, outside of teaching I love to hang out with my family, go to Florida football games, go shopping. What college did you attend? I went to the University of Florida. Nice. And if you could change one part about your teaching, what would you change? One part about my teaching is I wish I could incorporate more creative activities because I love to do art, so I think it'd be super cool if we could do more I don't know, creative stuff with every lesson. All right, thank you guys. That was Miss Ryer for our Teacher of the Week. Bye. Thanks 
Alicia Sorar for being so amazing with your students. And another popular section in our KMS show is the throwback video. Of course it's good to have a chance to play all our videos even if they seem old sometimes. Well, this one is not too old and it's never too late to challenge yourself during or in new goals. That's totally right. Here is alum Jackson <laughs> with our throwback video, New Year Resolutions. Hi, welcome to KMS News. I'm Alim, and today we're going to be interviewing people about the New Year's resolution. Hi, I'm here at Madison, and what is your New Year's resolution? To get better grades. To be a better person. Oh, to um, get better at sports. Hi, I'm here with Jaden, and what is your New Year's resolution? Get better in sports. Jetties. Okay, what is your New Year resolutions? To be healthier. Bonnie. All right, what are your New Year's resolutions? Um, probably to be more like diligent in my work and stuff. Uh. That would probably be to make a flag cut in swimming next year. Salvador. And what are your New Year resolutions? Uh, my New Year's resolution is to focus more on life and to balance out everything and to have fun with it, but at the same time, like, know your goals. Yeah. Alright, today I'm here with... Jordan. And what are your New Year resolutions? To stop hitting my brother. Hi, I'm here with Troy, and what is your New Year's resolution? Mm, my new revelation. Oh, hold up. Thanks for watching KMS News. See you next time. I hope everybody worked hard to make sure that their New Year's resolutions came true. We all can accomplish our goals, and sometimes we just need a great inspiration to do it. And that's what Taylor Oram was asking around the school. Who is your greatest inspiration? Let's get on into the video. I am Taylor and welcome back to Kernan News. Today we're going to be interviewing a few teachers and students to see who their greatest inspiration is. Let's see. Hi, I'm Taylor. Today I'm here with uh, Ms. Bennett. Hi, Ms. Bennett. So, who do you think is your greatest inspiration? Uh, my greatest inspiration is my mom. And um, she was able to raise two children by herself with a bit of, bit of family help, but um, she was just always there for us. Hi, I'm here with Taylor. Okay, so today we're going to interview you about who your greatest inspiration is. So who is your greatest inspiration? Me. Why, is, why are you your greatest inspiration? Because I'm awesome and I just love myself and I just, I love me. So, who do you think is your greatest inspiration? Probably my dad. Why? Because, um, well, he's taught me a lot, pretty much, yeah. Probably my mom, because she has done so much for me, and she has taught me, like, very valuable lessons. All right, thank you. Hi, Chase. So, who do you think is your greatest inspiration? Uh, my mama. Why is she your greatest inspiration? Because she taught me a lot, and, um, you know, she, like, if I'm doing bad, she's going to teach me the right way. Okay, so who do you think is your greatest inspiration? It's this guy named uh, Django Reinhardt. He was caught in a fire as a little child and burned and badly burned his left hand. And he had always wanted to be a guitarist. Um, so although with that handicap of having a really badly burned hand, he kept practicing and playing. And uh, he uh, persevered in his... Uh, uh, aspiration and became a very iconic uh, jazz guitarist. That was a very nice video. So look, look for a great inspiration and keep chasing your dreams. Sometimes it's hard though, especially when you're our age. We need to recognize that it's not the easiest being a teenager. The good news is that we can always count on somebody in our family or even in the school to overcome difficult situations. That is correct. And here at Kernan, we have amazing resources. Our teachers and administrators are willing to help us out at any given moment. Like our school counselors, Ms. Pennington and Mr. Zelski are always around to make sure we are all having a good time in the school. We will, oh, we are going to talk about this school department and we will divide this topic into two videos. And today we will have the first one. Here is Miranda Lewis interviewing Ms. Pennington, one of our school counselors at KMS. Hey KMS, so today we're going to be interviewing Ms. Pennington about what it's like to be a counselor in Kernan Middle School. So Ms. Pennington, what are your day-to-day -day tasks? 
uh, to help kids with academics, uh, college and career readiness, and social emotional stuff. Okay, and what is it difficult to work with children? No, I love working with children. I've been doing this for about 17 years. I love kids. And is that what you enjoy most about your job? Absolutely. I love to see it when a kid gets it or a kid raises their grade or works something out with a, another friend who they've had conflict with. Um, it's a very rewarding job. And when a student needs to talk to you, what is the process? Um, they can ask their teacher who can call us and see if we're available, but sometimes that doesn't work. So another thing they can do is um, come up and um, ask for Miss Timms or Miss uh, Figueroa, and they can um, write us a note, and we'll call you when we get a moment. Thank you for watching our video this week. Tune in next time to see what Mr. Zelski thinks about the same topic. That was very important information. Please, Ospreys, don't hesitate in looking, in looking for help if it's needed. Okay, earlier on the show, we told you that we will talk about important news on the 8th grade week So for this year. So here it is. Pay attention, 8th graders. First, 8th grade week is the last week of school, and it will go this way. On Monday, we'll have no school, while Tuesday will be movie day and yearbook signing. On Wednesday, we will have our masterpiece activity, the Universal Trip. The cost for the trip is $110, which includes a Universal Park ticket and the charter bus ride leaving at 7 a.m. and returning by 6 p.m. On Thursday, our traditional Carnival Day and 8th grade formal dance. You will pay only $5 at the door. And Friday will be our last day to recognize the most remarkable students of the year at KMS. After all that, you are ready for summer vacation. And maybe spend some time in where you're, wherever your favorite place is. Talking about favorite places, that was a question that Tiara Montgomery was asking last week in the school. Welcome to KMS News. Today we're going to be interviewing students about what's their favorite place in Jacksonville. So today I'm here with Yusuf. Yusuf, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? Um, my house. Why? Because I live there. Okay, today I'm here with Talia. Talia, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? Adventure Landing. Why? Because it's fun and they got water slides and an arcade. Okay, today I'm here with Jillian. Jillian, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? Probably the park. Why? Because you can just like do and just run around and just like play with like anything, really. Today I'm here with Christina. Christina, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? The beach. Why? Because it's fun and you get to find like shells and stuff and play in the water. Okay, today I'm here with Salvador. Salvador, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? Uh, the gym. Why? <laughs> because I can work on my craft and get bigger and better. I was on KMS News. Thank you for watching. Okay, today I'm here with Salvador. Salvador, what is your favorite place in Jacksonville? Wait, that's not his name, is it? Yes, it is. Oh. That was interesting. Do you have any favorite places in Jacksonville? Well, some of these suggestions were really a good, were really good. But I have to admit that one of my favorite places in the world is Disneyland. Really? I bet you could be very good at Disney trivia if you tried. Maybe, but a lot of current students are. Do you want to see it? Here is Aslan Aguilar with a very funny video, Disney trivia. We're with Geddes, and today we're going to be asking him some Disney trivia questions. What time did the ball start in Cinderella? A, 8 p.m., B, 10 p.m., or C, mid? 10 p.m. What, what was Disney's first animated film? A, Snow White, B, Sleeping Beauty, or C, Pinocchio? Pinocchio. I'm here with Raphael, and today we're going to be asking him some Disney trivia questions. Okay, first one is, how many lines did Aurora have in Sleeping Beauty? A5, B12, or C18? 18. How many daughters does King Triton have? A7, B8, or C4? A. Which one of Captain Hook's hands is a hook? A left, B right, or C he doesn't actually have a hook at all? Huh? Oh, oh, left. This is left arm. Okay. 
Hey guys, I'm here with Bianca, and let's ask her some Disney trivia questions. Okay, first one. Before Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney made a different character. Who was it? A. Snow White, B. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, or C. Mickey Mouse was his first creation. B. How many lines did Aurora have in Sleeping Beauty? A. 5, B. 12, or C. 18? 18. How many daughters does King Triton have? A7, B8, or C4? 7. Okay, thank you. Did you know all of the answers? <laughs> of course. Disney movies are fantastic. Fantastic. They are art. That's true. And talking about art, did you know we have an art club at Kernan? Yes. And I know that they are creating a are, ve are creating very cool things for our school. Well, Ava Smith was in the art club and she is going to tell us some, some things about it. Let's check it out. What's up KMS? This is Ava Smith here and today we are going to ask our club several questions about how they think art is going so far. Ms. West, what are the projects you are currently working on? With art club, we are doing an installation piece for the office. It's a crayon mosaic, and we are trying to have it finished before winter holiday. What are the projects that you are looking forward to do this year? We are going to work with the garden club to help with some stuff where the garden is going to be. And we're also going to finish the mural we started last year and begin another one. Hi, Audrey. So what are the projects you're currently working on? We're currently working on crayon murals right now. Turning up. So what are the parts that you are looking forward to looking at? We're going to be doing a mural of like osprey wings. I can't remember where, but somewhere. Thanks for watching KMS. Tune in next time. Bye. Those masterpieces are going to look very well in our own school. I can't wait to see the crayon art. It will be ready soon, okay? I think it's time for sports. Yes. It is Brady Bass with it, Brady Bass is ready with all the news about sports at Curtin. Hello, Brady. Hello, Taylor. Hello, Avery. Hello, Amazing Ospreys. Last week was a great week for KMS sports. Basketball and soccer were on fire and had great results. Let's get started with information about basketball. The, the girls went to the Curtin court on Tuesday to beat Mayport 42-11, and they went to Fort Caroline to bring an amazing win, 41-7. Their record is three wins and no losses. Keep it up, girls. You're doing great. Talking about soccer, the girls came against Landmark and Fort Caroline to get two wins, scoring 71 and 3-0. Get ready to cheer on our girls tomorrow because they will be hosting the game against Arlington Middle. Make plans to support our ladies. The boys went to Fort Caroline line last week and beat them 8-0. They also traveled to Landmark. It was a hard game and they tied 1-1. Next game will be today. Make sure to make plans to go this evening to our field when the Ospreys will face against Arlington Middle. And that was it, guys. Thanks for tuning in with the sports segment. We'll keep you close to all the activities to keep you posted. Back to you, Taylor and Avery. I hope you have a great week. Same to you, Brady. It was a great sport week for Curtin. Keep the hard work up, athletes. And that was it. We were arriving at the end of this new segment of the KMS show. We'll keep working hard and keep you informed every week. And, and we have a new team at KMS TV. Our Productions Club started last week and they're ready to beef up our show. If you also want to be part of our club, just stop by Mr. Dillard's room, Building 5, Room 510B, and fill out your form. We are meeting every Thursday from 8.30 to 9.15. Thank you so much, Amazing Ospreys, for all of your comments and your support. We really appreciate it. We'll be back next week with more info, more videos, and more fun. See, See you next week! week.